song is Ta Utama, which means my child. We ask the question to ourselves, what are we going to tell our children if we fail to protect our planet? When I vote Tautama, I want to feel that I have done my part and that I leave my children with a planet as beautiful and as alive as possible. I don't want to be sorry or ashamed of myself when later I look my son in the eye and have to take responsibility for my action or my inaction. Taking Teho back to Tahiri was something very important for me as I couldn't give birth to him there. In Tahiri, we could bury his placenta into the ground and it's a tra traditional ritual that we do in Tahiri and it helps bond the baby to his land, our Fenua, and the placenta is called the Pou Fenua, so even in the language, there is a, a strong connection between the human being and the land. I didn't want a song that only evokes all the negative aspects of our impact on the environment. The verses, which have a rather dark musical color, evoke problems, but they contrast with the choruses, which are bright and hopeful. We are a group of musicians from islands across the Pacific and Indian Ocean. We've been uniting our music to show how precious our islands and oceans are, and also to make incredible music. every two weeks online on Zoom to make music together, to know each other. Hi Emeline, hi Putad, hi Sami, hi everyone. It's great to meet all those wonderful musicians. There really is a will to, to do something for the planet. It really comes from their heart and we're very happy to be joining the venture. We keep going. We want to go. We want to together and talk. Our culture, our language, our everything. In Tahiri, we call traditional songs himenes. Those songs and those those voices really speak to your out, to your gut. You really feel a vibration of energy all around you. On Tautama, I like the percussions, uh, Sami's Valiha melodies, and I'm, I'm also very moved by the, the singing uh, of Putad, in particular in the decoda of the piece, the end, which transports me in every, in every time. Today to think that because of the human fact, the ocean grow and grow and begin to eat our island. So if our island disappear, what we will do and what we will be. I hope in the future, my son or my daughter, my grandson, my granddaughter, they are at the same pitch. In 2015 at COP21, former ambassador of climate change for the Marshall Islands, Tony DeBroom and I shared a statement. Before we made that statement, he told me 1.5 was not even a number that our country might survive. If this is a story about our islands, it is a story for the whole world. Later to Teho in 2050, my son, 
I believe that the canoe on which humanity travels is lost in the middle of the ocean because it can no longer be guided by the stars. I'm writing you this letter because I want you to know that I'm sorry. There are so many things I wish we could have done for our planet, your heritage. We did our best. It's a very comfortable thing to say. But did we really?